At home in his Siam Reap studio, Morn Chia paints in the mornings before inking linocut blocks with his wife, Poon Tu, to make individual black and white prints. My talent in art, as I remember, began when I was a young boy drawing in the soil. I didn't dream of being an artist when I grew up. But after the accident, when I became disabled, I started to learn art skills from a local NGO, Epic Art. Twelve years ago, Morn Chia was burned in an electrical accident on a building site, leading to the amputation of both his arms below the elbow. When I was in the village, I thought I was alone. I saw some people were struggling more than me. That made me want to live my life and work hard. Four years ago, Morn Chia met Seattle artist Lauren Ida, who was working in Cambodia and opened her studio to local artists. Um, at first, he was just drawing. He drew the first block and then I chiseled it. And then the second time he said, oh, I think I can do that. Let me try. So we weighted it down with something heavy on the end. So he had something to push against. And now he's very prolific. So he's creating larger blocks, very highly detailed blocks. He's painting a lot more with acrylic on canvases. The painting that shows me with the butterfly wings illustrates the turning point in my life from a rural boy in the rice field who didn't know the city and didn't know many people. Then, when I turn to art, my life changes. He often finds these very sweet metaphors that are uh, from his own life and puts them into the artwork. Like this one is about um, the hangers. The idea is that they look flimsy, but they actually are really strong because they need to be strong to hold up the heavy, wet clothes. And that's a metaphor for himself because he looks he looks disabled, but he doesn't feel disabled, and he's a lot stronger than he looks. After the accident, his uncle gave him a job raising ducks, an experience reflected in sometimes happy, sometimes difficult, on display at the Denver show, curated by Shanna Shelby. It was hot, difficult work, um, but he was grateful for the job. And so just the sentiment that sometimes happy, sometimes difficult, I think resonates with so many different people. The disenfranchisement of people with disabilities is reflected in wishing for inclusion. And he reflects a chaotic calm in Tangled. I love that the fish is in a, a big, huge mess, but still is beautiful. And so, I, again, I kind of relate to that in, in our world that is a big mess, but still we have this beautiful fish. Um, it's simple, but it, it, it's, it's touching. It's really lovely. Morn Chia says his art and his accident are inseparable parts of his story. I changed the mindset of people who used to think that with a disability, I could not do anything besides being a beggar or fed by others. Morn Chia is part of the Open Studio Cambodia Collective that provides marketing, supplies, and exhibition opportunities in promotion of Cambodian contemporary art. With Sokum Mano Khan and Sochi Dehian in Cambodia, Scott Stearns, VOA News, Denver.